Okay, horror fans. It is after the award show for Shriek Fest. Some people have won the coveted Bloody Reel. And I'm talking to one of them for pervert. And I remember when I talked to you for the opening night, one of your things that you were saying that you wanted people to walk away from when reading it or checking out your project was to let your freak flag fly and just be comfortable with yourself and whatnot. How are you feeling right now? You know, it's, it's validating to know that you can make like a dirty, nasty serial killer script and people will get that you yourself are not a perfect. <laughs> you know, it, it just feels really good to be appreciated for your writing. And I am speaking to no longer the Susan Lucci <laughs> of <laughs> the award show for Shriek Fest. He got his bloody reel, finally. Finally. How are you feeling? I am feeling wonderful. Yes, six years as a finalist. Uh, and and uh, finally, finally broke through, finally won. Absolutely delighted. You won for Soundwave. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I'm pretty calm, pretty calm. <laughs> Just calm? Your par Everyone. His parents came, y'all. Yeah, they did. Everyone keeps uh, asking, are you excited? Are you, you know, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty cool. So. so does that mean it hasn't hit yet or it's hit and you're just kind of like, okay? Maybe it hasn't hit yet. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Are you thinking about next steps for your project? Yes. I think maybe that's what's kind of uh, what's really going on. you got to think about what you're going to. This is awesome. I love this festival. Denise is awesome. I'm glad everyone that was with the movie got to come. Everyone got to see it. You still got to think about, all right, what do, you, what do you do now? Echoes of fear. We talked to them earlier. Mouse power. Girl power. So much power going on and I just you know when I ask how, how are you feeling right now oh uh, we're, we're just ecstatic yeah I, mean, we're, uh, I think we're in shock I mean, this is just such a hard festival to get into to get so many submissions 18th year so just to even get in feels great uh, but to win an award obviously is is, is amazing I and mean, we're very happy and like I said before when we were accepting the award the co-director cinematographer and producer uh, you know couldn't be here because she's shooting overseas but I texted her, I don't, she's working right now because we're 15 hours ahead. So I'm sure when she gets that text and finds out, she's gonna be really ecstatic about this. How have you felt about the reception here besides the coveted award? So people obviously loved it, but you know, in terms of like when it's screened and, and how was that, like in terms of the screening? Yeah, you were. It's been so supportive. I was just telling Brian, as I was walking behind him to accept the award, people from the audience were grabbing me and telling me it was their favorite movie and that they were so happy we were winning. I mean, that's unreal. It's so supportive and not competitive and it means a lot. Yeah, we got to talk to a lot of people. We hung out after the screening on Friday and this is amazing feedback and people really loved it. Okay, horror fans, I am talking to the lady of the hour. We just had the culmination of the longest running Horror Film Festival in Los Angeles. And I am speaking to the lady of the hour, Denise. How are you feeling? I am doing great, super excited. I don't know how I'm still going after four I don't know either. This, it's crazy. <laughs> but I think maybe I'm past like the exhaustion and now it's like slap happy and just all emotional. <laughs> And during the award show, you actually talked about how, you know, it's one of those things, don't give up on something that you think about every day. And is that sort of like your, your motto this year in terms of the, the festival and, and going forward with things? Yes, I feel like uh, that should be everyone's motto just because, you know, life can get us down and we all have things we want to do. And why wait to the end of our lives to realize, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do, go there? Why didn't I ask that? Or why didn't I try that? So, yes, I, I feel like everyone needs to really focus on what, what it is that makes them happy. Yeah, and was there anything in Street Fest this year that you, like, added on that was different from the other years? Is there anything that stood out to you this year from the previous time? Well, you know, it's interesting. Through the years, there always seems to, with submissions, there seems to be, like, a common thread. Um, this year it seemed to be like a slow burn. I noticed that in a lot of the submissions whereas like past years sometimes it's zombies, sometimes it's found footage, like it's a common theme with a lot of submissions and this year it seemed to be there was a lot of slow burns which I personally love 
Um, but I thought it was interesting that a lot of people were thinking of doing a slow burn film. Yeah, and you know, in terms of like the horror genre, the sci-fi genre, we've seen so much with the Oscars and whatnot, things getting mainstream. And this, you know, festival is such a staple of like up-and-comers of horror and you kind of leading the way. What's your hope for the future of the genre of horror and sci-fi? My hope is that the studios take take a look, open their eyes to the possibility. All these filmmakers are so unique and talented and quit doing cookie cutter stuff in the theaters. Take a chance on one of these guys. I mean, so many of these movies could be in the theater right now. Okay, maybe they don't have stars, but the stories are so wonderful that I think people would accept that even though there is no star in it.